Sakwase. Hi, I'm Mayor Oliver Gilbert and we've gone virtual. Now, while we're staying at home, I wanted to make sure that the activities that you enjoy could be brought to you online. Join me for Haitian Creole lessons with Mr. Innocent. Let's learn together. Good evening. Bonsoir. In this lesson, in today's lesson, you will continue with uh, definite articles that we studied in the last lesson. You will learn the use of verbs um, because at next lesson we're going to start uh, communicating in Haitian Creole using different settings. Uh, you will learn about sentence structure. You will learn about uh, how to ask questions. You will learn about active and passive voice. You will then you will learn sentences associated with what you've learned in this lesson. Uh, you've seen this uh, table before. The first four columns that we covered, I'm going to go quickly over them and then cover the last column. The definite art article, a, dans, in English, it's, be, it's after a non-nasal vowel. A non-nasal vowel, like I said, is a vowel when you say it, no air come out of your nose. Like, dans board, tableau, the foot, pied a, the body, corps a, the coffee, café a. Then, the same definite article that you know in English that says dans, in front of a consonant, like the Bible, the consonant B, B I B, Bible. Bib, Bibla, you cannot say Biba, Bibla, Cobla, the money, Petitla, the child, Tabla, the table. Then you have the that is un in front of a nasal vowel, a nasal vowel like un, en, on, un. You have like ban, the bench, ban an. You cannot say ban a or you cannot say ban la. It's ban. An temps de weather, tan an. You cannot say tan la or tan a. Pon an, the bridge. You cannot say pon la. It's pon an. The garden. Jardin, jardin. The next column, the definite article for the is la. It's nasal vowel before a consonant. You have the nasal vowel in the middle of the word. Saint la, saint la, the center. Point la, cap la, the kite. Conscience la. The conscience. Then we go to the last column. The, the definite article dans, after the letter N or M, you use na. For example, the cane, canna, sugar cane, uh, canna. Then you have the lady, femme na, because of the M at the end of the word. Then you have the car, machine. You have another word on the next, on the next, uh, uh, now on the next uh, slide, you are there, you're going to see on the last column, shamna, the bedroom. Shamna, the bedroom. There are some exceptions, like, that, like they always say to every rules, there are exceptions. There are some exceptions. Mm -hmm. Like the family, the word in Creole, fami, the, it has un, but the, the last, it's a vowel, it's I, and it's a non nasal vowel. But you don't say famia, you don't say famila, you say famia, famia. The same for the drum, tambour. 
the O sound is a, it's a vowel, but you don't say tambua, you don't say tambula, you say tambouan, tambouan. Now let's go to the next slide where now we're going to start covering the verbs, the verbs. Verb, you. Remember the E sound? Eb, verb, you. And when you use yo after the word, it means plural. Verbs, verb, 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 you. If I were to say verb without the e, S, it would be verb. Verb. Now, verb, you. A verb, like in English, is a word that expresses an action or a state of being. In Haitian Creole, a verb does not change because of a subject in singular, in singular or plural form. The verb doesn't change. At then, it doesn't change. The verb doesn't change if it expresses an active or passive form. Then it doesn't change either in present, past, or future forms like we have in English. You're going to say for the example in the table below. Juanita plays soccer. In third person in English, you will have the S instead of Juanita plays soccer. But in, in Creole, Juanita play, play, joue football. Soccer in the US is football. But the rest of the world knows soccer as football. Now, Jean and Juanita play soccer. That's the plural form. Now, Jean et Juanita joue football. Jean et Juanita joue football. Joue doesn't change because it's, uh, it's plural. Jean is a good student. Jean c'est un bon élève. Jean c'est un bon élève. Now, Jean, Jean, and Juanita are good students. Jean and A, Juanita, say bon élève. The say doesn't change just because it is plural. Now, let's go to the next, on the next slide. Verbs you. Now, verbs say are Verb, jouer, play, these are verbs. Verb, say, ah, moins say, I am, moins say, I am. Où say, you are, où say, you are. Li say, he or she is. Remember when we covered the pronouns, li is masculine and feminine. It's the same for he or she. Li, he or she. Nous say we are. Nous say we are. Yo say they are. They are. Now we're going to go to the next, next column. Verb jouer, play. Moi jouer, I play. Moi jouer, I play. Où jouer? You play. Où jouer? You play. Li jouer. He or she plays. Nous jouer. Nous, we play. Yo jouer. They play. In Haitian Creole, there is no helping verbs like we have in English. Like in English, we say, we are learning. Are is the helping verb. In Haitian Creole, N na pa apren. Na pa apren. There is apren is the verb. Learning, na pa apren. But there is no verb are. Na pa apren. Now let's go to the next slide. The next slide is a little bit complicated. I'm going to spend some time to explain to you. In Creole, we have that verb, the verb give, give. Like we say in English, give me, give me something, give me the book, give me some money, give me some water, 
The verb give is different in Creole. It can be buy, it can be buy, it can be bon. It depends where it is in the sentence or if it's in front of which, what is it in front of? For example, ba means give, but it's before a pronoun like li, u, yo. For example, he gives him a car. Li, ba, li, yun, auto. Remember, li is a pronoun and is also a personal pronoun. So, li, ba, li, auto. He gives him a car. It's ba. Li ba ou yon television. He gives you a television. Now, the same word uh, verb give in English is also buy before a noun. Li buy cinq dollars. He gives, it's supposed to be gives, he gives five dollars. No buy manger. We give food. No buy manger. We give food. We cannot say no buy manger. No buy manger. It doesn't sound good in Creole. Li buy cinq dollars. Li buy cinq dollars. No buy manger. Now, the same word give is bon, bon, before moins and no. Liban moi en believe he gives me a lot of books. Liban moi, you cannot say liba moi or liba moi. Liban moi, okay? Liba li l'argent. He gives him money. Okay? Yo ban nous l'argent pour acheter manger. They give us money to buy food. Yo ban nou l'argent pou achete manje. They give us money to buy food. Bon. Now let's go to the next slide. How much, now we're going to ask questions, give in English. How much money did you give him? Combien l'argent ou bali? Combien l'argent ou bali? Ou te bali? Ou bali? I gave him five dollars. Mwen bali cinq dollars. Mwen bali cinq dollars. Money is l'argent in Creole. But you will hear people also say cob. Cob. Remember the o sound? O, ob, cob. If you have the dictionary, it's on page 17 what we are covering. Now, on the next slide, we are going to start to learn about sentence structure. Sentences. Sentence is phrase. Phrase. The A, Z, fra, raz, phrase. Then, because it is plural, it's phrase you. Like in English, most sentences have a complete subject and a complete predicate. Okay? Example. My English teacher is the complete subject. Wrote an article about Dickens. Okay? With the writer, complete predicate. It's the same in Creole. Almost follow the same structure. Now, in Creole, you're going to see the complete subject, Professor Anglais Moins, because the my come after. Professor Anglais Moins, te écrit yon atik sou Dickens. That's the complete predicate. Te écri yon atik sou Dickens. Mary is a lady cheered for her sister's teammates. That's the complete predicate. Now in Creole, Marie applaudit pour co équipier celio. The word is co E qui pied celio. Marie applaudit pour coéquipier celio. On the next slide, now we're going to use 
sentence is the same sentence structure that we've learned to express want, need, and have. Want means vle. Moi vle manger. Moi vle l'argent. Gain mean have in English. Have in English. Moi gain l'argent. I have money. Okay? Besoin mean need. Moi besoin. 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 That mean need. I need food. Moi besoin manger. Now, let's look at the sentences. You have the pronoun. Remember, you learned the pronoun before. Mwe, ou, li, nou, yo. Now, we're going to look at the verb, verbs on number two. Vle, gain. Vle, gain. Besoin. Vle, besoin. Now, the noun. Manger. Dormi. L'argent, aller, voyager. Manger means, manger means food. But manger is also a verb, means to eat. You will see that later also, to eat. Dormi means sleep. Dormi, dormi means sleep. L'argent means money. Aller means go. Voyager means a, a, a travel. Okay? Moi vle manger. I want food. Ou gen dormi. You are sleepy. Li besoin l'argent. He needs money. Nous vle aller. We want to go. Yo besoin voyager. They need to travel. They need to travel. Okay? Now, let's go to the next, the negative. How do you express negative sentences? You are, you're going to put pa, pa, P-A, P-A, in front of the verb in the sentence. These are the same verb that you saw on the first slide. Now we're going to express them in a negative form. Moi vle manger. I want food. Moi pa vle manger. I don't want food. Ou gen dormi. You 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 are sleepy. Ou pa gen dormi. You are not sleepy. Yeah. Okay. Li besoin l'argent. He needs money. Li pa besoin l'argent. He does not need money. Nous vle aller. We want to go. Nous pa vle aller. We don't want to go. Yo besoin voyager. They need to travel. Yo pa besoin voyager. They don't need to travel. Now we go into the next slide. The next slide we are because we are learning sentences. We are learning about affirmative and negative sentences without a verb. In English, you cannot have a sentence without a verb. That would be a fragment of a sentence. It's not a sentence. But in Creole, there are sentences without a verb. For example, in English, Carol is pregnant, but her belly is not too big. In Creole, you're not going to find a verb in that sentence. Carol enceinte, mais vente li pi go, pa pi go passe sa. Pa pi go passe sa. There, are no, there is no verb in that sentence. Okay? Because the adjective describes the action. So, now you have, I'm so sick since last my last trip. The verb is, I'm so sick. I, the verb, am. So, okay? In Creole, 
because of the adjective, tellement, there's no need for the verb. Moi tellement malade depuis dernier voyage moyen. Moi tellement malade depuis dernier voyage moyen. There is no verb in that sentence. So later on, as we start speaking, that will bring to your attention sentences without verbs, but that expresses that express a complete thought in Haitian Creole. Now. There are also verbs without the verbs with an adverb. He's late every day. Late is an adverb. In Creole, there's no verb. En retard mean late. Every day, there's no verb here. You see the pronoun li, li. You see en retard mean late and every day. There's no verb. Li en retard tout le jour. But in Creole, it expresses a complete thought. Like you say in English that he's late every day. Now, He's home today, but he is often out. He is, is the verb in here, but plus souvent is the adverb. Li la jodi a, mais plus souvent li deyo. So there is no verb in this sentence in Creole, but it is a, a, the sentence expresses a complete thought, like like in English with a verb. Now. Let's go to the next slide. Also with a noun indicating a location. When you have a sentence with a noun indicating a location, a verb is not needed. Like in English, Jacob is in the class with many other students. Is in the class. But the location class la, Jacob na class la avec l'autre élève. There's no verb there. Jacob is the is the is the subject. No, in class la is the location. Avec with many students, there is no verb. Jacob na class la avec lot elef. Now the next sentence: the kids are at home all day today. The sentence in Creole doesn't have a verb. Timunio the kids la kai that's home. Like I you at home, uh, tout journée, all day, today, jodia. There is no verb in that sentence, but it it expresses a complete thought in Haitian Creole. The next one, we are going to talk about affirmative sentences because we're covering sentences. The present tense, Mary takes pictures. Marie prend portrait yo. Remember the plural pictures, portrait. If I were to say Mary take a picture, Mary prend you photo, you portrait. But you might hear people say photo also. Photo. Mary prend photo yo. Okay, that's another word, portrait or photo. Now, my son goes to school. Petit moins aller l'école. Petit moins aller l'école. Now, in the past tense, if you're expressing the past, something that happened yesterday or before, Mary took pictures. Ma Mary, Mary, te prend portrait yo. Te, before the verb, change it into a past tense. Okay? In English, you see take, become took. In Haitian Creole, te prend, prend, doesn't change. The te change it. To a past tense. The te before the verb change it to a past tense. Mary te prend portrait yo. Mary te prend photo yo. Now for future tense. Mary will take pictures. Marie, Mary, pral prend portrait yo. Pral in front of the verb prend indicates the future tense. Mary pral prend portrait yo. Mary pral prend photo yo. Now, pral is the short form. You can say Mary pralé prend portrait yo. Mary pralé prend photo yo. Now, on the next slide, we are going to cover the negative present tense. Now, Present tense. 
Mary does not take pictures. Mary pas prend portrait yo. Pas prend portrait yo. Okay? Now, past tense, Mary did not take the pictures. Mary pas te prend photo yo. Future tense, Mary will not take pictures. Mary pa te pran, Mary will not take pictures. Mary, Mary pa pral pran portrait yo. Mary pa pral pran portrait yo. As you can see, Mary does not take pictures, but the past tense, Mary did not take the pictures. Mary pa te pran portrait yo. Pa te pran portrait yo. Now, future tense, Mary pral pran portrait yo. Pral pran portrait yo. Let's go to the next one. Present forget progressive form is expressed pral plus the verb. She is going to sing now. Li pral chante kounye ya. Li pral chante kounye ya. It's almost like a future form. It's almost the same as the future form. She will travel next month. Li pral voyage moi prochain. Li pral voyage moi prochain. Or, li prale voyage moi prochain. I'm going to pick up my son at the airport later. Mwen pral cherche petit mwen nan aye wopo plita. Mwen pral cherche petit mwen nan aye wopo plita. Mwen prale cherche Petit mwen nan aye wopo plita. Now, on the next slide, you are going to express future time. Not for sure. Something that is going to happen, but it is not for sure. We may go to the movies. We don't know. We're not sure we're going to the movies. No ka. Ka ale na cinema. The future tense, expressing future tense that is not for sure, you can use ka, cab, cap, plus the verb. So, we may go to the movies. Nous ka ale na cinema. Ou bien, nous cab ale na cinema. The kids might go to the park. You never know. It might when they don't go. Something may happen and uh, we change plans and we don't go. Si moun yo cab ale na park. Cab ale na park. Meaning that it's not for sure. Now on this on the next slide, all sentences we're talking about active and passive voice in Haitian Creole. All sentences are written in active voice in Haitian Creole. Even when they are they represent passive voice, there is no auxiliary in Haitian Creole. For example, active voice. Peter is chasing cow. Okay? Peter is chasing cow. Peter up poursuive cow. Up poursuive cow. Now, the passive voice, cow is chased by Peter. Cow is chased by Peter. You cannot say cow poursuit pas Peter. That's the uh, that's the passive voice in English. It, you can say cow en bas poursuit Peter. But the way it's expressed in Creole is the same as the active voice. Peter a poursuit cow. Oh, Kaol en bas poursuit Peter. Now, on the next slide, you're going to see the type of sentences English and Haitian Creole. Loud noise frighten dans poppy. Bruit for yo te fait tiché en paix. Bruit for yo te fait fait tiché yo paix. The passive voice. The puppy is frightened by loud noises. You cannot say that. You will say, Bri for you, fait tiché en paix. You cannot say, tiché en paix, pas bri for you. There's no passive voice in Haitian Creole. Another example, Miss, Miss Jones purchased dispensing. Miss Jones te achete pentisa. You cannot say, this painting was purchased by Miss Jones in Creole. Pentisa te achete par Miss Jones. You cannot say that. So in Creole, Miss Jones te achete pentisa. 
On the next slide, let's practice. More active. Elias Howie invented the sewing machine. Elias Howie te invente machine a code. Te invente machine a code. That's the past for active. The passive form, form would be sewing machine was invented by Elias Howie that we say that normally in English. That's okay. But you cannot say that in Creole. You cannot say machine a code te invente par Elias Howie. You will continue to say Elias Howie te invente machine a code. Now, another one. Voters often reject tax proposal. Voter yo rejete proposition tax yo souvent. Voter yo rejete rejete proposition tax yo souvent. But you cannot say in English like they would say the passive voice. Tax yo rejete souvent par voter yo. Li pa, li pa, I mean, it doesn't sound good in, um, in Haitian Creole. The next one is the judge settle all disputes. Jige la résout tout mes ententes yo. You cannot say the passive voice. Like all disputes were settled by the judge. Though you cannot say that. The tornado destroyed most of the town. Tempête la détruit presque toute ville la. Tempête la détruit presque toute ville la. You cannot use the passive voice. Okay? Now, we are going to cover the questions. These are the words when you ask questions that you start with. Who, which, qui est Qui yes. Ou bien qui? Qui yes. What? Qui ça? Qui ou bien qui ça? Or qui ça? Where? Qui côté? Côté. When? Qui l'est? Qui l'est? Why? Pour qui ça? Pour qui ça? How? Comment? Comment? Ou bien comment? How many? How much? Is only one. How many? How much? And you know in English how many things that you can count? How many chairs are here? But you cannot say how many dollars? You see how, how you know how many how many dollars and things like how much? How much? Combien? In Haitian Creole, it doesn't change. It's combien? On the next slide, asking questions, posing questions. Who is she? Qui est lié? Qui est lié? Who is she? Qui est lié? It doesn't change. Who is she? Who is he? He is my son, husband or brother, wife or brother. Lise petit moi. Lise mari moi. Lise madame moi for wife. Lise frère moi. What are you doing? Qui sa wap fe? Qui sa wap fe? I'm cooking. Mwe a fe manje. Mwe a fe manje. Or I'm reading. Mwe a fe le ti. Or mwe a li. I'm reading. Mwe a li. Why are you upset? Pour qui sa ou fache? Pour qui sa ou fache? I'm upset because I had an accident. Mwe fâché parce que mwe fe accident. Mwe fâché parce que mwe fe accident. Now, how are you? Comment ou ye? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Mwe bien, merci, et ou même? I'm fine. Mwen bien. When are you coming? Ki le wap vini? Ki le wap vini? How many people are here? Combien moun ki la? Combien moun ki la? There are 20 people here. Gen 20 moun la. Gen 20 moun la. 
Let's go to the next slide. What is your name? Qui j'en really? Qui j'en really? My name is. Non, moi c'est Dela. Qui j'en really? Moi really Dela. You can say my non, moi c'est ou moi really. What is your last name? Qui siati ou? My last name is. Si yati moi c'est innocent. Si yati moi c'est innocent. How do you spell your last name? Comment ou eple si yati ou? Comment ou eple si yati ou? Spell out eple, then you spell it. What is your address? Ki address ou? Or you can hear, ki koto ou rete? That's more a little bit informal. My address is, my address is, address moi C, address moi C, then you tell your address. That's the end of the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Join us every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook Live for Haitian Creole with Mr. Innocent. If you want to view the session again, visit cmgengage.com backslash virtual. I'll see you next week.